Good afternoon, Pastor. And to you, John. Thank you. Welcome, everybody, to Unfiltered, a random moment with Pastor David. Pastor, I wanted to ask you, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke, spoke about the social media prophet yeah. and how they use their platforms to push an agenda and they're really bold. Along those lines, I wanted, have you ever heard of the term accidental Pharisee? I've heard it. I've heard, yeah, yeah. It's somebody who's wanting to do the right thing, but begins to judge other people for not doing the right thing that he thinks they're supposed to do. And they accidentally slip into a Pharisaic mentality, if that's what you're referring yes. to. Yes. Well, I mean, what's interesting is that exactly what you're saying, there's this overzealous model of faith that sabotages the work of the Lord. You know, back in, you even looked in the Old Testament, or if there were Pharisees in the Old Testament, it wasn't a bad thing. I mean, people were modeling. At one time, the Pharisee was considered... A holy person or the Pharisee during the time of Christ was a separated one you know Pharisees and the Sadducees are the two main groups we see in the New Testament that seem to have a uh, well they do they have theological differences uh, the Sadducees were the Jews who had been uh, influenced by the Greek way of thinking and their philosophy and so they began to deny them some essential things within um, the faith you know they didn't believe in angels for example and um, they didn't believe in the resurrection. And so the Pharisees believed in both. And so there were, there were arguments between the two Sadducees coming up right around the time that Antiochus Epiphanes was in, was in uh, Israel and, uh, and all of that. And he had left the Greek culture. And so um, the, the Pharisees rose up in, in response to them. And so they were regarded as the holy ones. But unfortunately, sometimes when you want to pursue the things of the Lord, you can begin to give yourself over to a, a mindset that if people don't do things the way you think they should be done, that they're not doing them the right way. And so I believe that Christians can slip into a Pharisaic kind of attitude because, well, because we look around and we see that um, the world itself is is spinning out of control but many Christians seem to lack personal holiness and the pursuit of godliness and have yielded themselves over to the temptations of the flesh to the point where they're making carnal behavior acceptable in the church and so I think it's possible for somebody who really wants to do right to begin to notice the things that are being done wrong and they can slip into that and so we see a lot of that in um, being exposed in social media today where somebody will write some angry thing a diatribe against something they've seen or are concerned about and before you know it the 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 argument begins and people jump in and they may want to argue in favor of something and the other person furiously is pounding their keyboard to to battle that legalist and yeah we see a lot of that today how dangerous is that are they accidental Pharisees to the church in terms of undermining the gospel message? I think that that Phariseeism is is dangerous, and so is a, a liberalism, a liberal mentality is dangerous also because it doesn't strike a balance. You know, the restrictive ones become harsh, unloving, and overly critical. The other ones lack discernment. And so, oh, anything goes because God is the God of grace and love and mercy. And so it's kind of like the 12 blind men trying to describe an elephant. You know, one touches his knee and says it's like a tree. And the other touches his, his trunk and says, oh, I see it's like a snake. You know, and someone grabs the tail and says, oh, I see it's like a rope. You know, and grab the ear. It's like a fan. They only see one thing about the elephant. And then they make that the truth mm -hmm. about the whole thing. So I think that people do that today with their uh, their theology and their walks with God is they find one aspect and they hold fast to it, but sometimes it's to the exclusion of the more full counsel of God. And so it's a dangerous thing to not take in the whole counsel and seek the Lord for the balance that you find in scripture and to learn to do uh, things according to what scripture says, not according to our, our own prejudices or biases. And that's where the importance of an exegetical study or taking the whole counsel of God versus yes. isolating a passage or a scripture yes. 
to try to make it fit to us. Absolutely. And they take that and they run. And, yeah. and it comes down to keeping our eyes on Jesus. It talks about, it, it comes down to loving, loving God, loving people. It talks about walking in faith and living in grace. It, 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 it's the doing unto others that Jesus said that we would have them, the way that we would have them treat us. And things like that. It's putting into the balance of the scripture uh, into our life. And it takes a while for us because like pendulums, we may swing one way or the other for a while, but what we're looking for is balance. And so, you know, we should avoid those things that are evil, but we shouldn't ever, we shouldn't ever condemn those who are, in, you know, are basically trapped by them and help them. How are we gonna help somebody if we don't love them and encourage them and tell them the truth and things of that nature? So Christianity is a, a balanced life. Pastor, thank you so much for giving us insight on sure. this. and. Uh, we look forward to, well, we have a Wednesday night service and uh, we have a guest speaker coming. Yeah, Brennan Beeler Brennan. will be with us on Wednesday. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, we're, we always want you there, but. Sure, sure, <laughs> of course. But we still want to invite, invite your church family to come on out uh, Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. We look, having to, we look forward to having you. And Pastor, thank you for your time. Of course. God bless you.